Hey there, JP Letnick. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of Trello. It's a project management software that I've been using for a while now, and it is helping me effectively keep track of my to-dos and projects that I have for multiple companies. So well, the nice thing about Trello is that when you sign up, you can actually link it to your Google account. That way, whenever you want, you can just, if you're already logged into Google, then you can just click sign in using Google and it's fast. So you can create your name, and this is funny, they're using Arya Stark from the Game of Thrones here. Now your email and your password, and you can create a new account. Now if you already have an account, you click the log in, and then I'm going to click log in with Google. So here I am in the account, you can see I already have a lot of different boards, and I have my star boards at the top, so these are very important to me right now. My boards, this is just generally my personal boards that doesn't have anyone else attached to them. And then down here, you can create boards where you are part of an organization and you can add different people that are part of the organization to specific boards so they can see them and they can edit them. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the plus button here and create a board. And this is going to be MLSP uh, work, for example. Now, if I wanted to, I can add a company to this board and then I can add specific people from that company in there. If I haven't done that yet, you can actually click the plus and you can create a personal team or you can create a business team. Now, a personal team is a team is a group of boards and people use it within your company, team, or family. In business class, your team is more security, administrative controls, and superpowers. So this is more if you're managing a company yourself. This is if you're just working with other people uh, personally. And then once you have that done, you can add them to the board here. So for example, I'm just going to leave that blank. And I'm going to actually just show you a my JP Latin to do. So if I click on this board, you're going to see that these have little tabs here. Now these are lists, and you can title them whatever you want. So if I want, I can click Add a List, and I can title this MSP to do, and I can add a card. And this would be Create Trello Video. Now I can click on this, and a pop-up comes up. And you can see I can add a comment, I can edit the description, I can edit the title by clicking that. And if I want, I can actually add different members. So here you can see that I've created this board and I can add people to it by adding their email or if they're already in my members groups. Mm -hmm. And this would allow them access to edit as well. So I'm not going to do that. And then here you can see labels. So I can actually put this as working on and it'll give a little green tab here. I can title these whatever I want so I have a better idea of what it looks like. And then checklist. So checklists are cool. Now this is what I can add to even specific tasks. And for this would be uh, creating the video. And I add that. Now I can add different items for checklists. So uh, start Camtasia and then record video. So you get the idea. Now. I can always add more later, but when I've done them, I can click the check mark and it crosses it off and shows how far along in the process I've completed. So this is very effective for keeping track of tasks and what I need to get done, and I can always edit them as I'm going through it. Now I can also add a due date. So this, let's say, is due today, and I could add a time. So let's say this is due at uh, 5 p.m., and I click Save. Uh, oh, I clicked it tomorrow, so let's change this. Let's make it today and save. So today, now you can see it's today at 5 p.m. Recently passed due. Uh, so the time schedule on here might be on Eastern Standard Time. You get the idea. But if I click this, okay, so this is a 24-hour clock. So if I want it at 5, it would be 13 plus, so it would be 18, I believe. Let's click save. Yeah, yeah so 24-hour clock. At 5 o'clock is due, so due soon, you can see it's yellow. If it is way in the future, then it just shows the time grade, and if it's past due, then it'll show red, and you can see here on the tab that it shows red. So I'm going to change this to make it there, click that, and there we go. So the attachments, you can also add images from your computer, Google Drive, Dropbox, these are really, or a link and you can actually attach from your computer. So this is very important if you want to upload a document or photo uh, for everyone to see on the task. 
Then you can also move the boards. You can actually move these to different boards and different positions and different cards. You can copy different functions so that you can actually copy the card, move it somewhere else, and you can archive it and you can share it and there's more. So you can actually link to the card, you can email the card, you can delete this card. So there's a lot of functions that you can do in here. Uh, then this is again just one task inside this list. So if I wanted to, I could also quick, do quick edits by clicking the pencil box here and you can edit the labels, change members, move, copy, change due date, or archive. Um, this is really as far as I use the system and it's just to keep track of things that I'm getting done and then when I click here, let's say I click on this, um, you can enable a calendar power up as well, but that's it. And then if I'm, if I'm done completely, then I can delete it or archive it. And you can see who has completed which tasks and you can see all the actions that have happened with this. You can leave a comment, uh, you can add emoticons, add images, att emails, attachments, everything. And that's really all I do. Now, you can always upgrade your account to the business class. This is just the free software that I'm using. Uh, and that's really it. So this is all you need to do to use Trello.